Hey there, space enthusiasts. Get ready to blast off into the cosmos with us. Welcome to Spaceverse, where the universe is our playground and curiosity knows no bounds. Join us on an interstellar adventure as we dive into the depths of space, uncovering its mysteries and marvels. From the secrets of black holes to the landscapes of alien worlds, we're here to ignite your imagination and expand your cosmic horizons. With mind-blowing visuals, expert insights, and the thrill of exploration, Spaceverse is here to get to the ultimate cosmic journey. So strap in, hit that subscribe button, and let's embark on an epic voyage together into the vast unknown of Spaceverse. The enormity of this alien terrain is beyond comprehension, with canyons plunging deep and mountains soaring high enough to be visible from space. Within this vast expanse lies the potential future of humanity, a second home distant from Earth. This vision of establishing a colony on Mars is perhaps our most thrilling yet. Mars' Vales Marine Ares stands as the solar system's largest canyon system, a monumental cleft across the planet's equator, starkly evident even from orbital views. Its name, derived from NASA's Marina 9 probe, honors the craft that first orbited Mars in 1972, providing intricate photographic surveys of around 70% of the planet's surface. Mariner revealed the deepest valleys and tallest peaks known in our celestial neighborhood. This network of canyons, troughs, and cliffs extends a staggering 4,000 kilometers from east to west, akin in length to the continental United States. At its broadest, it spans 600 kilometers, reaching depths of up to 7 kilometers. The canyon walls expose layers of rock and diverse hues and compositions, offering insights into Mars's ancient geological past. The valley floor hosts various geological formations, including landslides, debris flows, and sedimentary deposits. Contrary to the terrains explored by Mars rovers over the past three decades, Vales Marine Ares presents a starkly different Martian landscape. Rover missions typically favor flat, easily navigable areas to ensure safe landing and operational capabilities. However, as we look ahead to a future marked by advancements in technology enabling human and large-scale equipment missions to Mars, the Vales Marine Ares emerges as a focal point for exploration and potential colonization efforts. The formation of Vales Marine Ares, a colossal canyon etched into the surface of Mars, stands as one of the most intriguing mysteries in planetary science. Its sheer size and grandeur, visible even from the vast expanse of space, invite us to delve into the intricate processes that have shaped the Martian landscape over millions of years. Vales Marine Ares serves as a vital link between two vastly different regions of Mars, the volcanic plains of Tharsis to the west and the chaotic terrain to the east. This chaotic terrain, unique to Mars and other extraterrestrial bodies, presents a landscape characterized by a chaotic jumble of broken, rugged rock formations. Amongst these formations are irregularly shaped blocks of rock, some spanning tens of kilometers in size, with steep, jagged edges that hint at a tumultuous geological history. While the exact mechanisms behind the formation of Vales Marine Ares remain uncertain, scientists have proposed several theories. One prevalent hypothesis suggests that the canyon's channels and fractures may have been carved by the gradual or sudden collapse of underlying material. This collapse could have been triggered by shifts in subsurface dynamics, such as the movement of water or ice, or by cataclysmic events like impacts or seismic activity. Turning our attention to the Tharsis region, we encounter another intriguing aspect of Martian geology, its towering volcanoes, including the awe-inspiring Olympus Mons, the largest volcano in the solar system. The concentration of these massive volcanic structures in a single area may have exerted tremendous pressure on the Martian crust over millions of years, akin to the weight applied to an eggshell. This prolonged pressure could have resulted in fractures and fissures in the Martian surface, ultimately contributing to the formation of Vales Marine Ares. One notable example of this geological upheaval is found in Noctis Labyrinthus, or the Labyrinth of the Night, where a maze-like network of canyons and valleys weaves its way across the Martian landscape. This labyrinth in terrain likely formed through a combination of tectonic forces, volcanic activity, and erosional processes, serving as a transitional zone between the volcanic plains of Tharsis and the sprawling canyons of Vales Marine Ares. Recent discoveries made by planetary scientists have provided new insights into the ancient secrets concealed within Vales Marine Ares, shedding light on the complex processes that have shaped the Martian surface over geological time scales. These findings not only deepen our understanding of Mars' geological history but also offer tantalizing glimpses into the broader processes at work in the evolution of planetary landscapes across the solar system. In unraveling the mysteries of Vales Marine Ares, 
we embark on a journey of discovery that not only enriches our understanding of the Red Planet, but also opens new avenues for exploration and inquiry into the wonders of the cosmos. Researchers have made a fascinating discovery at the juncture of the Noctis Labyrinthus region and Vales Marinaries on Mars, a colossal shield volcano named Noctis Mons, or Mountain of the Night. This massive geological feature stands over 9 kilometers tall and stretches an impressive 450 kilometers wide. Its extensive size and weathered appearance suggest that it has been active for an extended period, with erosion gradually wearing away its surface features over time. What makes this discovery particularly intriguing is the presence of a vast area spanning approximately 5,000 square kilometers surrounding the volcano. This terrain is believed to consist of volcanic deposits, likely formed by the eruption of steam and hot volcanic material interacting with water or ice surfaces. The resulting formations, known as rootless cones, indicate the past presence of glaciers in the area. Scientists propose that these rootless cones formed when a layer of volcanic material settled on top of glaciers, causing chemical reactions with the ice beneath. The unique shape of these formations suggests the possibility of a hidden glacier lying beneath the blistered volcanic surface. Estimates suggest that this subsurface glacier could span an impressive 6 kilometers in length, 4 kilometers in width, and 2 kilometers in thickness. The discovery of such a substantial reservoir of accessible water ice is a significant development for future exploration and potential colonization efforts on Mars. Unlike the inhospitable polar ice caps, which are challenging to access and sustain human life, this equatorial region offers a more favorable environment, with temperatures reaching as high as 20 degrees Celsius on pleasant days. Access to abundant water resources is crucial for sustaining human life and supporting various activities essential for establishing a colony on Mars. Extracting water from the surface soil, as would be necessary in other regions, is labor-intensive and energy-consuming. However, the presence of a subsurface glacier within Noctis Labyrinthus presents an ideal solution, offering a readily accessible source of water that aligns with the tropical Martian climate of the region. Furthermore, the presence of water ice provides additional benefits beyond supporting human habitation. It opens up possibilities for various scientific studies and exploration endeavors, offering insights into Mars' geological history and potential for sustaining life. Overall, this discovery represents a significant step forward in our understanding of Mars and the prospects for future exploration and settlement of the Red Planet. The discovery of a subsurface glacier within Noctis Labyrinthus opens up exciting possibilities for scientific exploration and potential discoveries of past or present life on Mars. The interaction between volcanic activity and ice could have created an ideal environment for simple bacterial life, making this region a prime candidate for further investigation. Additionally, there are practical advantages to establishing a base within a canyon on Mars. As elevation decreases relative to Mars' sea level, atmospheric pressure increases. While still significantly lower than Earth's sea level pressure, being situated at the bottom of deep canyons could provide a more tolerable environment, with reduced pressure differentials compared to the Martian surface. This could lessen the challenges posed by Mars' thin atmosphere, including mitigating the effects of cosmic radiation. Moreover, the increased atmospheric density within canyons may offer greater protection against cosmic radiation and physical hazards such as meteorite impacts. The width of the chosen canyon could further enhance this protection by reducing the angles of attack from space debris. While Mars remains an inherently hostile environment, any measures that improve safety and increase the likelihood of successful colonization efforts are invaluable. Despite the harsh conditions, Mars stands as our most viable option for establishing a second home in the solar system, at least for the foreseeable future. While other celestial bodies like Saturn's moon Titan may offer potential alternatives, the challenges of reaching and colonizing such distant worlds are significant and warrant separate consideration. In summary, the discovery of a subsurface glacier within Noctis Labyrinthus presents promising opportunities for both scientific exploration and the eventual establishment of human settlements on Mars. By leveraging the unique advantages offered by Kenyan environments, we may inch closer to realizing the dream of establishing a sustainable human presence beyond Earth. And that's it. Thanks for joining us on Space First as we explore the wonders of the cosmos. From the breathtaking Vales Marineries to the discovery of a hidden glacier in Noctis Labyrinthus, we've delved into the mysteries of Mars and the potential for human exploration. Join us next time as we continue our journey through the vast expanse of space.
Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to stay updated on the latest discoveries and adventures in our cosmic backyard. Until then, keep looking up.